What's Not going bad. on here, man? What do they need? What do you need to know? What are you guys interrupting? We were just about to start a video. What's happening? Oh, you are? You're gonna have to wait. <laughs> well, today is leg day. Oh, my Super favorite set. day. <laughs> Super set with uh, moving the dryer to the new building, I guess. It's gonna be a rad day. Who said I have nice lips in the YouTube <laughs> video? Because here they are. Here they are. and everything happening but so we're still in the middle of building our headquarters and we're in between two buildings so we have half our staff here our gym obviously turned into a mess we got boxes all over the place so there's nowhere for us to go anymore uh, so today's leg day it's gonna be a bit much uh, but today we're focusing on hamstrings and glutes with the peanut gallery making so much noise in the background oh my god <laughs> and then we'll get tips from rob bailey what <laughs> <laughs> you got it <laughs> right in the gut right in the gut follow along if you can if you can't and you have add i get it <laughs> but try your best So especially on a glute and ham focused leg day, I love to do a little warm up using booty band. This is from Slingshot, but if we also sell them on Run Everything Labs. Uh, it's called a hip circle or booty band. Um, so I do two to three sets. I'm doing three sets, 20 reps of each uh, exercise. So the first exercise is a lateral shuffle. I stay in a squat position and then I step as far as I can all the way over and then step together. So you're doing five to the right, five to the left, five to the right, five to the left. The next, I, uh, next exercise is a glute bridge abductions, really focusing on slow pace holds. So you're staying in a glute bridge and then you're just abducting your knees, hold for two seconds and then close. The last exercise is frog reverse hyper. I keep the, I keep the booty band on for the frog re re reverse hypers. If you have a reverse hyper, you can use that. I'm just using a bench and then knee stay bent into a frog stance and kick your legs up. All right, so after our warm up, we're getting into our first two working exercises. We are doing banded RDLs with elevated dumbbell sumo squats, which I'll get to that. So the first part, um, is you're gonna need a pretty heavy resistance band. The good thing with doing why I, which you guys, if you've been following DLB Daily, you've noticed my RDLs usually always have a band, a hip band attachment to it. Um, and that's honestly one thing, it helps with your form. So RDLs is all about letting your butt go back. So this, the way you're gonna set it up is you get your resistance band just tied around a pole. I'm just gonna be over here, so I just tied around this. And then position the band right around like your hip crease. So at, if you would bend forward, this would be your hip crease. Here are my hips, this is where it cre creases at. So you'll then walk forward. Uh, you'll have dumbbells, you could do it with a barbell, you could do it with a kettlebell. You're gonna walk forward so that this is already pulling you back. So you have to pull against it using your glutes and your hamstrings, especially at the top of the movement. Now the great thing by doing uh, with this is how it actually helps you, thank you Kaya, how it actually helps you throughout the range of the movement with an RDL to perfect the form a little bit better because it's gonna help you draw your butt back instead of doing something more like a stiff legged like dead, which is also good where your butt doesn't go back as far. So as you go, so I'm gonna have my dumbbells out here. So you bend your knees, you let your butt come back. And then as you come up, you're gonna squeeze 
and really throw those hips forward. Now you have a band here, so this is kind of nice. You can just sort of stand here. Uh, but it's gonna wanna bring you back. But so that you don't lose position, I want you squeezing and throwing those hips forward at the top of each rep. Bring your body out so that there's tension and it's pulling you back already. Dumbbells come down, nice flat back. On your way up, squeeze and throw those hips forward. Let your butt go back. So this, adding the band, adding a, the band at your hips will help you bring your butt back and then it will add more tension at the top. So we're going 15, 12, 10, 10. My nose is running. Don't look at that. <laughs> and then we're gonna head over and I'm gonna use two benches. All right, so I wanna do <coughs> sumo squats, but if you use a dumbbell, my range of motion is very, very, very small. So we're going to go in between two benches so that I get full range of motion. So sumo, meaning you're going to be wider than your shoulders. Feet are going to be slightly pointed out into a sumo stance. You're going to grab your dumbbell. And now you can go nice and low. And at the top, same thing, push those hips forward and squeeze your butt. You wanna make an ugly butt. <laughs> it's called ugly butt. So when you squeeze your butt, squeeze your, or push your hips forward and squeeze your butt, it doesn't make your butt look good. Ugly butts make really good butts in the end. Rep ranges, so we're doing four sets. That, uh, your RDLs are 15, 12, 10, 10. And then your sumo squat, I want you to stick to like a 10 to 12 rep range. So I want you going as heavy as you possibly can in that 10 to 12 rep range. Uh, the only substitution I would say that would also be a good alternative, um, especially if you don't have heavy dumbbells, maybe you're training at home, is doing a landmine position um, like a goblet sumo squat so that could be a good alternative because um, when the weight's up here it just generally feels heavier um, and then you also won't have to elevate yourself so anything in a sumo stance sumo squat thought I'd be better in shape after Mexico, but I'm not. Anywho, moving on to my favorite exercise of all time, a vertical leg press. Uh, if your gym has a vertical leg press like mine from Arsenal, I love these guys so much. One, ask your gym owner to maybe purchase one because it is the best. If not, for years and years and years and years and years, because my other gyms did not have them, um, I would just use a Smith machine. So with the Smith machine, the biggest thing there is practicing uh, racking or, or unracking the weight. So why I like a vertical leg press is because all the weight is on you. You don't need to use as much weight on this. And because of the angle, if you get a good one, Arsenal has this made to perfection. So if you look at the back, the back it kind of kinks up. And that's what I want you to do with your butt. So if you're on a, uh, on a Smith machine, first of all, get like a, a yoga mat. A yoga mat will be nice. You can either fold it up. Generally, just a yoga mat will do. But you're gonna lay on your back. And then a lot of times I would put my hands under my butt so that you already get that little kink up. So my hands would go under my butt 
and then your feet are above you and then you just have to practice closing and unclosing this is probably if you did you turned off the <laughs> the sound to this and this is what was playing i'm like yeah that's that, that, burr, burr, burr. this would look so funny to someone just like walking by the screen anywho if you have a partner your partner can be in charge of unracking so just if you're doing it on a smith just put a little bit of weight on and then just open and close the rack a couple times but it's actually very very easy um and then just keep your hands, I, ca I usually keep my hands under my butt, and then the bar sits like right about in the middle, right where your, like, your arch would be. That's generally where I push from. So a little more towards the back of your heel, but kind of centered into your foot. And then you just keep your foot on that bar the whole entire time. However, if your gym is amazing and has the arsenal strength then you just do it from here so placement of feet is gonna be kind of preference um, so I place my put your back on it but then I keep my butt on this pad so that it's kind of kinked up already and then I'm generally somewhat in the middle of the platform there is an angle to the platform as well which goes with the angle of your feet um, I do slightly narrower stance, shoulder width to slightly more narrow, toes slightly pointed out. And then you just up, take those out. So I'm more towards the back, all depending on where you're sit sitting, but try to keep your butt on that uh, incline up. And then you're just bringing your knees all the way down. And I let them come like outside. So instead of keeping them straight like this, I let them kind of come out to the sides of me. So if you watch, they come out to the sides and then I push up. Not fully locking, but slight bend in your knees. So a lot of times, if you ever watch me, I always kind of keep my hands on my knees. I'm not pushing my knees. I don't know why I do it. It's just sort of like a security thing <laughs> and it like stops my knees from going any further. So I always kind of have them on, but I'm not pushing. So if you're pushing, I, I mean, I could probably do a lot more weight. So you're not pushing your knees. It's just like a habit I do. So rep range for this, 12, 10, eight, eight. So I want you going pretty heavy for those. We're then going to make our way over or bring a ball to you. Um, instead of doing lying leg curls, we're gonna do Swiss ball leg curls. The reason I like doing these is I feel them a little bit more in my glutes. It's the same kind of exercise, but you're reversed on a lying leg curl. So a lying leg curl is all pretty much all hamstrings little bit of glutes. Um, this, I feel more glutes and then also hamstrings. So you're gonna be laying on your back and then I put my feet pretty far forward. Uh, when I start, pretty much my calves are like on the ball. You're then gonna dig your heels in to the ball, raise yourself up in a glute bridge. Now this is why you're gonna feel it more in your glutes because to keep my belly up, I have to squeeze my glutes. If I stop squeezing my glutes, <laughs> you're gonna fall. So that's why on a hamstring and glute day, I really enjoy doing these a little bit more because it just is a little bit more glute activation. So in your glute bridge and then dig those heels in and you're just gonna reverse curl that ball back and then let it back out but don't let your hips drop so you want to keep them up as you get tired if you want to just put your hands right here to help you get those reps i gotta move my feet a little bit there we go and then out so reverse curl in and then out so the whole time you gotta squeeze that butt to stay in this nice plank position so for those, 
we're going to for a 12 to 15 rep range so you're just doing body weight we're not adding any weight you don't need to add any weight to your stomach this is just strictly body weight stability leg curl so we got four sets here let's get to it other favorite leg piece of equipment which is a power squat or a V squat um, you can also do this with a hack squat we are doing a one and a half rep reverse so I'm gonna be facing it reverse hack squat now the reason I am gonna be facing it is kind of along the lines with like an RDL I want your butt to go backwards instead of straight up and down so I'm gonna show you the difference, what would be more quad emphasis versus what I want you guys to do. So you can still do a reverse hack and make it uh, quad oriented. And that would be coming from here and coming straight down. What I want you to do is I'm gonna have your feet go back a little bit and instead of dropping straight down, your first part of the movement is going to be at your hips. So right now, I want you to just practice. This is the first part of the movement, is my hips. So your hips are going to go back, and then you're going to go down, and then you're going to stay in that power squat position. So hips are back, and they're going to stay back that whole time. And then you're pushing more at an angle versus pushing straight up and down. So one more time, hips go back. And you're pushing at an angle versus straight up and down. Not that that's bad, but today's ham and glute day. So you're going to let that butt go back and then you're gonna be pushing from that back and you're almost like, then you're like pushing towards that wall opposite of you instead of pushing up and down towards the floor to ceiling. So I want you pushing at an angle. So it's a one and a half rep. So you're gonna come all the way down, go up halfway, go back down, and then all the way up. So obviously you're not gonna use as many pounds as you normally would because if it's eight reps, you're technically doing kind of like 12 reps. So, cause you're adding another half rep in there. So, one and a half reps, this is what it would look like. Walk your feet back. Feet are about shoulder width stance, slightly pointed out. First part of the movement, let your butt go. So my knees are slightly bent, let your butt go back, and then it stays back. So we're going down, up halfway, down, up full. Down, up halfway, down, full. So adding that little half a rep in there obviously is going to make it one harder and greater time under tension on those glutes and hamstrings. So we're doing eight to 10 reps of one and a half reps. After that, I'll probably take like a plate off and we're gonna do good mornings. Q and Kanye. Good morning. Morning, good morning. So good mornings. You're gonna stay in that reverse hack way, except we're not gonna bend our knees this time. So this is gonna be all glutes and hamstrings your back is going to be nice and uh, flat the whole entire time. And then you're just going down as far as you can. If you don't have a lot of flexibility in your hamstrings, your movement's not going to be as far. You go down until you feel a really good stretch. You don't need to go any further than that. Feel a really good stretch. And then you're going to contract your glutes and hamstrings and then extend up. 
your knees will be slightly bent the whole time but they kind of they're not going to bend and straighten they just stay slightly bent so we're going to face here same position with our feet so shoulder width toes slightly out back is going to stay flat and here you really let your butt go back until you feel like a really good stretch for me that's right there and then i contract and up So on this, I want you to concentrate on really holding in that uh, relax, uh, in that stretch position. So come down nice and slow. Stretch, one, two, and up. Down slow, hold it, and then up. So we're gonna be pre-exhausting. You won't need a whole lot of weight for this. This is a super isolated move here. So four sets eight to ten reps for your one and a half reps and then you're going to strip some weight off get back on it for your good morning good morning keep make sure your back stays flat so if you're arching keep your neck in a nice neutral position so don't look up as you're going it wherever your back is that's where your head is so notice i'm not kinking up you don't want to add any kinks in your back. Just nice and uh, straight in a neutral position. So I don't really move my head. Just wherever my back goes, my head follows. Let's go. Action. Seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> we got three left. So this next is a butt little circuit, or not circuit, uh, superset. So for glutes, we haven't done these in a really long time. And I actually had on there a hip thrust, but I actually, I despise barbell hip thrusts. Like despise them because they're really annoying to set up. They're very uncomfortable. And then you need to like wrap stuff around the bar because it hurts. So unless you have like a hip thrust machine, you can, uh, you can interchange, or if maybe you like barbell hip thrusts, go for it. So. I'm going to do kneeling hip thrusts. Uh, so the bar is going to be on my back. And then the hardest part is getting out. You can also do this on a Smith machine, really nice and easy. Um, it's obviously a little harder on uh, free weights because you got to kind of like walk the bar out. But on a Smith machine, you can just undo the bar and then you can go from there and the bar will just go straight up and down. Um, here so that I don't hit anything. I sort of have to walk it out on my knees. It's the hardest most awkward part, but once you're in it, you're in it. <sighs> I'm just not doing hip thrust today. Just don't feel like it. You can. Uh, so bar's going to be on my back, knees on the ground. So you want to have something on the ground. Just get a yoga mat. Yoga mat's good. You're going to come all the way down. Let your butt sit back. And then as you come up, you're throwing those hips forward. And the name of the game today is thrust. So I want you thrusting those hips forward and make that ugly butt like I was talking about. So you make an ugly butt, squeeze your hips to get, or squeeze your hips forward and then squeeze your butt, make an ugly butt. And then when you come down, relax, let your butt sink back and then again, squeezing forward. So it's not a big movement. So I generally set the bar just high enough that I can kind of like get into it from this position. And then I just have to walk out just a little bit. 
get your knees straight. So you're gonna sit back, let your butt sink back, and then throw your butt or hips forward. Butt back, hips forward. Butt back, hips forward. So it's a very, very small movement, but we're just targeting our glutes right here. And you just walk it back. <laughs> so I would suggest if this is a newer exercise, one, have a partner there that can just stand behind you and then just pull it off of you. Or if you're by yourself, use a Smith machine. Um, you also have the option of doing any kind of other variation of a hip thrust. If I had a hip thrust machine, that is what I would be doing right now. So any companies listening out there, arsenal strength, arsenal strength. If you're listening, um, I really would love a hip thrust machine. All right, after that, so I didn't even tell you sets because I already got sidetracked. Um, so eight to 10, focusing, I want you focusing on that, that squeeze at the top. So you're holding each rep for two seconds. So up, squeeze, hold for two seconds, and then relax. So four sets, eight to 10. Second part of this movement is going to be my other favorite. If you notice, I'm just picking all my favorite stuff. Uh, is hypers. Um, you can add weight uh, to your hypers, either with a kettlebell or holding a plate. Um, I honestly just like to throw a band on myself. But the key thing here is going to be with uh, how you perform it so that you're performing it for your glutes and hamstrings. Now you use hyperextensions, it's a lower back exercise. But to make it more of a glute exercise, it's all gonna come to rounding your back. Yes, I want you to round your back. I want your head lower than your hips. So as you come up, it's a much smaller movement. You're not coming all the way up here. I feel it in my back right now. So I don't want you nice and straight. I want you like this. Because <laughs> right now, all that weight that was here is now right here so this is how i want you to end up your head is lower than your hips so you're rounding your upper back forward so come down you relax your butt a little bit to come up you're gonna squeeze your butt so if you want to even just practice that squeeze your butt together you should see movement so your back should already start coming up just by squeezing your butt so to come all the way up, you're gonna squeeze and then pull it together and squeeze really hard at the top and then relax. So it's a very, very, very small movement. Squeeze and stay rounded forward. So I almost, if you wanna just pretend and try to look behind you the whole time, that will keep your head forward. This shirt is not, not good for this exercise. So. Squeeze, and then down. Holding each one again for that two second count, and down. So I'm going to do 10 to 12 reps, weighted however you want, if you wanna hold a plate. I'm gonna add a band. So I just loop the band right behind me. So same thing, oh, just adds a little extra tension to that top. And then we'll do 10 to 12 without. So a little drop set. So to hit your glutes and hamstrings, the movement is like in half. So I don't want you straight. I want your back rounded over. Keep your head below your hips the whole time. Almost just look behind you the whole time and that will keep your head down. Four sets. Here we're doing a drop set. 10 to 12, drop, 10 to 12. The final exercise, the worst, probably most hated, but also one of the most beneficial because you 
if you follow me, you usually see this in almost every leg day. On quad day, we do it a little bit differently. I made a post, it, uh, you can do this exercise two different, completely different ways just by changing your torso. So we are going to be changing our torso to hit our hamstrings and glutes a little bit more. So a regular Bulgarian squat is you get a bench, you put one foot up, this foot comes out, and if I was just wanting total leg or a little bit more quad emphasis, I would keep my chest up and you're just coming straight up and straight down. So you hold the dumbbells here, you come straight up and straight down, chest is up. Now, it's ham and glute day. I wanna focus on my butt. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lean forward. So just adding that forward lean is gonna transfer the weight from our quads now to our posterior. So you still have the dumbbells in your hand. However, I want your chest down and you're gonna keep it down the whole entire time. So as you come down and as you come up. So this is your up position. I'm still facing downwards instead of, whoa, <laughs> oh my God, balance. <laughs> instead of facing straight forward, if your chest was up, I want you leaning forward. Arms are kind of dangling here. So as you come down, dumbbells are actually going to touch the ground right here in front of you. All that weight right now is on my hamstrings and on my glutes. So you're coming all the way down and then keep that forward lean. So just right here at your hips, lean forward, arms dangle down and you're staying in that leaning forward. What I call, I call it like the sprinter. So you'll see either, I try to put both names in case you guys forget. So it's a low Bulgarian or a sprinter uh, because on the start, like if you if you were in track, this kind of looks <laughs> like how you would start in a race, except your foot would be here. So it's called a sprinter Bulgarian because you're gonna look like a track starter. And then where you put this foot, um, you might have to move it around one or two times, do a couple reps. So lean forward, I have that forward lean. Just by doing that, you, you should already feel it in your hamstrings. And then you're just gonna bend down, touch those dumbbells to the ground, and then stay leaning down. So my head stays in that down position. So we're right about here. 12 each side. So we're doing three sets here. You don't really need a whole lot of break. So keep your rest periods down because as this leg's working, this leg is resting. So take a little 15 second breather and then start over. So three sets, 12 reps, and then we're done. And then we're done. All right guys, that's it. Ham and glutes are trashed and hopefully you can take some big booty cell phone pictures. But if you like this workout and you want more, come join me and all my friends on the DLB Daily. DailyBailey.com, click that link below. Right now we're doing this first seven days for free. So you can come try it out, see what it's all about. We actually just updated our whole website. So we have tons of information on nutrition. We got recipes, we got the dopest, Facebook group alive and not just because all my members said so it's because I said so and if you join Hopefully you would say so too, but we get a lot of cool like it, It's just a really cool community because if you ever have questions you can go there. I answer them. We do uh, Live streams on it. It's really fun. So come check out the LB daily first seven days for free And then after that we're just gonna make gains it's all about gain, so click that link below and we'll see you there. And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below on this video. Later.